Yeah, so basically I started off by explaining who Tor is as a nonprofit, and then I talked about what Tor is as a technology. So Tor is a peer-to-peer -peer network, and I explained how the peer-to-peer -peer network functions on a technical level. And then I sort of went through a best of series of graphs that show information about the Tor network as a whole. So what the usage patterns look like in different countries. So we went from Ethiopia to China and back and looked a lot at Syria and Iran. And then I talked a great deal about actual social issues here, which is something that it's very important to keep in mind that, well, the technology is possible to beat. That is, that you can jump a firewall, you can circumvent a firewall, you can circumvent censorship if 99% of the people in a country are not doing that then even though it's a very weak technology, it's still an efficient control mechanism, and that this is something which is pretty dangerous in general, especially dangerous in the context of democracy. Since you talk about internet censorship, have you uh, been uh, active you know, against this uh, SOPA legislation, or have you been in any contact with Anonymous or WikiLeaks or stuff like that? Uh, I mean, I... You know, I've been and generally remain a pretty vocal opponent of SOPA. Luckily, SOPA is dead. There's a new thing that's sort of rearing its head. It's CISPA, and it's sort of the worst parts of SOPA in some sense writ large. And I've been very vocal speaking out against CISPA in addition to SOPA and PIPA. And um, these, you know, sort of attempts at militarization of, you know, the Internet or cyberspace are very serious problems, and I find that those problems are not just a national thing in the United States with those laws, they're in fact spreading everywhere, and so it's hard to keep track of all of the different ways that governments are trying to control the internet, but in those particular cases I've spoken out quite heavily against them, and I, I think it's important for people not to think that it's a good idea to break the internet in order to save the internet, so to speak. So.